Oh, sorry, Viv. We're not open yet. That's OK. I just came to talk to you. Are you taking Alice to school today? Uh, no. I thought it was best to keep her at home under the circumstances. You're joining the boycott. Great. You want to sign the petition? <laughs> Viv, what are you talking about? Andy, getting a private teacher as a reward for bad behaviour. We're not standing for it. Look, I don't want to get into all this now. You know, Nick's just been sentenced to ten years in jail. That's enough for me and Alice to cope with. But it's Alice you should be thinking about. She's got another five years at this school and every penny they waste on some little tearaway like Andy is one less they spend on her education. I'm sure you mean well, but we'd just like to be left alone for a bit. Well, at least sign the petition. Don't be frightened, Andy. They've got no rights to keep us out. Can I go on after them? I don't want my mess to see me with him. We're a family. We all stick together. I've got more than 60 signatures on this petition to have him taken out of school. Well, you'll always find plenty of people ready to join a witch hunt. It doesn't prove anything. There'll be a few kids absent from school today. More tomorrow. How many more is it going to take before you realise this just can't go on? Andy is entitled to an education and we're going to make sure he gets one. Even though it means other kids missing out? Don't you think that's just a little bit selfish? We're not going to stand here arguing the toss with you, Viv. My kids are going to school and there's nothing you can do to stop me. It'll be the same tomorrow and the next week. And we're not going to give up till someone listens. Andy's really concerned about facing a picket line. Mm -hmm. well, it's Robert I'm worried about. Started turning the other kids against him. Maybe you've taken on too much with Andy. He does seem to attract trouble. He's just an upset child, Rachel. He's not going to get better without help. And he has a right to an education. Well, he's not going to get one round here if Viv and her cronies get their way. I'm off down to the cottage. Found some old papers on Carr House. Might encourage the Cairns if they know they've bought an historic building. <laughs> historic or not, it doesn't change the fact that they bought a wreck. Oh, thanks for putting my mind at ease. I'm nervous enough as it is. Well, if you're not back by tea time, we'll send in the reinforcements. <laughs> I'm going to see Pollard this afternoon about a job at the wine bar. Well, that's a bit of a step down after working with Steve. But it means I can start open university, finish my degree. Have you heard from them? Yeah. I got an interview tomorrow. Oh, that's great. Things are really looking up for you. I just wish I could say the same about us and Andy. <laughs> 